Hey, Dr. Hod. What's up? Can you rank these supplements for me? Yeah, of course. All right, B vitamins. So that would depend on if they're methylated or not. Methylated B vitamins will get a 10 for me, but uh, unmethylated B vitamins would get a three. What about omega-3? Omega-3 is absolute 10. There's so many great studies on omega-3s, how much it helps with dyslipidemia, uh, helps with insulin sensitivity, and really recommend it for a lot of my patients to help with their cardiovascular risk factors and their lipid profiles. Okay, vitamin D? Vitamin D is also a 10. If I can give it an 11, that's probably gonna be my actual favorite supplement. Uh, you can get it naturally through sunlight or you can get it by supplementation. Really great study this year with over a thousand participants that really demonstrated its longevity and anti-aging potential. I'll post it below if you guys wanna take a look. All right, what about AG1? Oof, uh, zero, negative one. Wait, why? I take that. Oh, you should probably just flushes down the drain. Reason being is because AG1 is a supplement that doesn't give you the amounts of the ingredients that they're putting in the supplement, which completely defeats the purpose for me. I mean, being a medical doctor, if I was gonna prescribe you a medication and neither you or I knew the dose, it would kind of defeat the purpose completely, right? So for that reason, I just, I can't recommend AG1, sorry. What about magnesium? Magnesium depends on the preparation and type. If you're gonna take magnesium three and eight during the morning and magnesium glycinate at night, I would give that combination a 10 out of 10. Okay, thank you. Yeah, anytime.